Hello and welcome to your first UDK tutorial and uh, that stands for Unreal Development Kit and before I go into telling you what UDK is I'm just going to show you some things made with the Unreal Engine now there is a difference between being made with UDK and being made with the Unreal Engine but basically the UDK is a way to easily and freely might I add access the Unreal Engine and make things using the Unreal Engine but if you actually buy a license for the Unreal Engine, just literally the Unreal Engine, then what you'll actually get is C++ code that you can then change and modify, which is kind of what I want to get into, but it costs quite a lot of money to get the source, because obviously they're giving you all of the source code for their Unreal Engine. So what we're actually doing is doing UDK, so that's this development kit. And games made with Unreal Engine include Mass Effect, Mass Effect 2, Samaritan, it's award-winning, Batman Arkham Asylum, Gears of War 3, and, you know, there are a ton and a ton and a ton of games made with the Unreal Engine. Obviously, all the way back to, you know, like, Unreal Tournament and that kind of thing. So, Unreal Engine is a really, really good engine. If you want the source, then you just want a license for it. But if you want to be able to freely and easily access it, then you want to use the UDK. So, at the moment, I'm on UnrealEngine.com. If we switch over and go to UDK.com, then what you'll see is this website is a little bit different. So, what is it? UDK is, an, uh, is pretty, well, that's wrong, basically, but it says UDK is Unreal Engine 3. So, we know that's wrong, but we kind of see what they're saying. It's a way to easily access Unreal Engine 3 and use it. It's a complete professional development framework. All the tools you need to create great games, advanced visualizations, and detailed 3D simulations on the PC and iOS. So when you download it, there's a thing to make desktop games, and there's another thing to make mobile games, which is really great. So to download it, just go to UDK.com. Uh, just download the most recent version. For me, it's the May UDK Beta. And just go ahead, click that, download and install it, and you are there. So, I assume you can do that on your own, you don't need me to guide you through. If you don't know how to download and install things, then this probably isn't for you. So, that's the end of this lesson, and have a nice day.